Hello, guys. Welcome back to Bedding News TV. My name is Kofi Atinka Atinka One, and in this episode, I'm about to give you an update from two solid black star incoming players, very young, and now uh, they will be with Ghana. I'll be giving you details and also update on them how they are going on in their club, that is their performance at their club level and other stuff. So I'll be telling you exactly uh how they are doing what they are doing this is bedroom news tv my name is kofi hatinka hatinka one don't forget to subscribe to this very channel don't forget to uh, hit the notification bell you select all and also you like this very video comment share and let's talk about this place and uh you know uh 13th of november is the deadline for uh Otuado to submit his official uh 26 man squad for the FIFA World Cup Qatar 2022. That's the letter FIFA has sent to Ghana Football Association. And in, uh, in, in the midst of that, Otuado will name uh, a 35 provisional squad. So uh, that is not the limit. The limit is from 35 to 50, okay? So you can name 40, 45, or to 50 uh, provisional squad. And from this uh, 30, this, from this provisional squad, then he will trim it down to 26. Then he will send the official one, the 26 to, uh, that's a FIFA in uh, Zurich. Then they organize everything. Then kick off the World Cup before Ghana play its first match against uh, Portugal on 24th November. Then uh, three days later, we play against uh, Uruguay. Then the last match in the group stages will be against Adoke. The last match will be against Uruguay. Rather. The second match will be second match will be against that is South Korea. Then Uruguay match will be second December. That is when we are going to show Uruguay so yeah, yes, so, yeah, so now let's talk about this, uh, you know, uh, Marion Boudou. Marion Boudou is a Dutch-born Ghanaian footballer, you know, very fantastic young footballer who uh, played for AS Monaco, okay? He's also on the radar of Ghana Football Association because very young and good talent that uh, he needs to play for Ghana. He's just 20, uh, 22 years of age, okay? And uh, even less past uh, weekends, he scored a very fantastic goal for Monaco when they went away to win a tournament against uh, Montpellier on Sunday. Okay, so uh, Meron Boudou is very young and very talented. You know, uh, it's, it's the dream of uh, that's a Keto Keku to assemble very good and quality players for Ghana because, you know, we don't need to rely on only current players. We need to start prepare for the future and the future is today we have to start today preparing try to get these very players so that they can help ghana win trophy and also to qualify for more world cup so the guy is moving on he's doing very very well and he's playing for and that's AS monaco in french like uh, day in day are very young talented footballer and also keto kreku and his guys are pushing hard to get him so that he can even play for that's under 23 as we are preparing for that as olympics game 2024 in france paris so gonna need to move on and prepare for quality players and also let's talk about this arsenal uh, striker that's eddie nketia i don't know Spoken lengthy about the Nketiah's possibility of playing for Ghana. And still talks are going on and is getting like closer and closer and closer. Keto Keku still on pushing for Edi Nketiah to uh, switch to Ghana because hey, the only thing as the only way that Edi Nketiah can get international football to play is when he switched to Ghana because for England, uh, I don't feel, I don't think the guy will be able to get a three lions to play. Nketia was uh, part of the players who uh, supposed to were supposed to switch allegiance to Ghana before uh, we play international break. And uh, but hey, he, he his excuse was that they want to get more playing time and settle at Arsenal before he would do that. And now his national team doing well, playing very well. And I'm told and uh, the information I'm gathering is that Keto Keku once again is uh, with the father or the family still pushing for the boy to join uh, Ghana even before he go to the World Cup. So still the meetings are still going on and they are pushing and then pushing so that Ghana will assemble a very strong and quality team. So let's all uh, try to push uh, Keku so that you bring these guys on board. He's doing very well. All of us have short coming, but hey, 
the players that this man has brought on board are very, very good. Nike, Ram Patrick, Pfeiffer, and Bruce, Tariq Lamte, and uh, others. They are very good, and uh, very soon, these guys will be in Ghana. This is Betty News TV. My name is Kofi Atinka. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, share, like, and comment.